Hello, hello, hello. On this episode, we'll be taking you to the Sunday brunch at Anantara Sayam. It is considered one of the best brunches in Bangkok. The Bangkok brunch scene is very exuberant, and there are many other venues that are on the same league. So if you like mouth-watering food, smash the like and subscribe button so we can bring you more of gorgeous food in unique settings. We start this culinary journey with the shilled seafood section. A wide array of imported seafood. Scallop, king crabs, clams, mussels, you name it, it's there. And there's also lobsters and fresh oysters. And it all goes very well with champagne. If you're new to this channel, this video is part of a series where we had a staycation at Anantrasiam and tried out all their food outlets. Links will be provided in the description or check out our channel. The French rotisserie grill is another attraction. Not only chicken, but pork legs are divine. The fat and the skin is really the best part. One of my favorite side dishes is the burnt cabbage. The burnt scent, texture, and creamy sauce is very appealing. These are items on the menu that you can order as much as you can. Pan seared halibut with beetroot puree. This is a very difficult menu to make it as a buffet and perfectly executed like this. Pink in the middle, perfect crust. Ah. Uh... <laughs> there is also a delicious lobster tormidor. The beef station is endless. Many types of cuts and I would go with one with some fat. There is also a pasta station and Japanese station. The good thing about buffet is you eat and you walk. It's like hunting but much more pleasant. One item at the Chinese station that's a must is the baking duck. The combination of crispy skin and sweet soy is a delight. Many items on display that is impossible to try all. But it's a good feeling just to look at it or just know that you can have one. Apart from the international food, there are local food selected from the streets. These are well-recognized vendors that are expert on their one item. Kanom Pak Ma, a sweet and savory delicacy. The filling is made out of pork, peanuts, and palm sugar. Kuei Tiao Kuo Kai, fried rice noodle with chicken and fermented squid. Using the charcoal stove gives it a beautiful smoky aroma. The aroma and the texture of the rice noodle is very appealing. For more smokiness, the barbecue is a must. Chef Rick Dinjin makes his own sausage and handles the grill himself. Three types of sausage and one of them is a northern Thai style sausage, Sai Ua, and it's served on a bed of couscous. There is also some live entertainment. I didn't think we would have room for dessert, but they all look so good. And this one is no exception. The Mystery Chocolate Sphere. It's a feast to the eyes as much as it is a feast to the soul. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you on the next video.